Hello everyone and welcome to my first Let's Play video for Forza Motorsport 5. I've known of this game for many months now and that it's going to be released at the time the Xbox One comes out and I've been so excited to play it. So I finally got my Xbox One console yesterday and picked up the game today and I've just started it up and the game has popped me into Prague in front of this beautiful McLaren P1 which is going to be the very first car I get to drive and uh, as I say I just can't wait to get in the driver's seat and start playing. So as I play I'll be doing live commentary and I'll give you my impressions of the game as well. First thing I notice on this uh, car here and I also noticed it as the game was starting up as the actual paint looks so realistic. Um, it's just got that sort of effect to it, like if you just wa uh, wax your own car and it's got that nice shine. So let's not waste any time. Let's get in. And you can use the right thumbstick to have a look around. I bet that's very close to how the real thing looks like. Right, let's start this engine up. I was a big fan of the Project Gotham racing games on the Xbox 360. I played them. I played Forza a bit, a couple of Forza games as well, but I haven't played any racing games for a while. So this may be a learning curve. But I've guessed the accelerator correctly, the right trigger. And instantly I can feel some nice feedback coming through the right trigger here on the new Xbox One controller. So I'm just going to try and get round this uh, course without wrecking this beautiful car and uh, see how my driving skills hold up as the game progresses. It looks beautiful in the game, it really does. It's so smooth as well. Whoa, just accelerating there, I could feel myself drifting out. There's a lot of power in this car, you can certainly feel it. Whoop, he came into me, I'll blame him for that. Oh no! Well, I've sort of remained in control almost. You feel that if you just plant the um, accelerator, the car's definitely going to spin out of control in a bend. we got a wonderful tunnel here. And you hear the nice effect of the engine there, now it's glowing. Right. Oh. oh no! It's so easy to spin out. It is my fault, but still. You just nudge one of those cars and it sends this thing into a spin. I think the game did say just enjoy this level, not to worry about getting in the first spot, so... Uh, excuse me. There we go. Place 4, that's not too bad for my first attempt. Oh, I've done some damage there. It's going to take more than a, a wash to fix that, I think. Was only a taste of the journey ahead of you. As we continue, you will traverse an epic automotive world full of fast cars, old rivalries, and new technology. And I'm certainly looking forward to it. That's quite a nice car to be put in for your first race, but it's also quite a powerful one, so. Leagues are home to a wide variety of cars, from vintage to sport to grand touring. Your career starts with the Modern Sport Compact Championship Series. But before you choose your car, let's learn more about the group from BBC's Top Gear. 
Then in 2012, Mr. Toyota and Mrs. Mr. Subaru Clark. announced the arrival of their twins, GT86 and BRZ. The world rejoiced. Here were two cars designed not to save the planet, nor to take your entire extended family to the seaside in a modular lounge environment. No, they were designed to make you smile. They were small, lightweight, skinny tired, rear drive and affordable. This was the beginning of a new age for sporty motoring. Only it wasn't. If you looked hard enough, there have always been affordable cars designed to brighten up your day. Mazda especially is always provided for the enthusiastic driver. That's why it made the simple, wonderful MX-5 and the RX-8. The Honda S2000 meanwhile Cars look so lifelike. And it's possible the same applies to the Hyundai Genesis. But I'm not sure, as it's only sold in Korea and the United States. Select your first car from this list and begin your career. This car will take you through some of the best racing in the world. So choose the car that speaks to you. All right. <clears throat> so apparently these cars have got a voice and will talk to me. So we've got the RX-8. BRZ. Honda. I really like the look of that car, but I'm, I'm just not sure if that rear spoiler belongs on it. Right, so I can pick any of these. Right, they all look nice to me, but I'm sort of torn between the Honda and the MX-5, but it's a little bit slower. But it does have reasonable handling. Um, where shall we go? Where shall we go? It may not be the quickest, but I'm going to go with the Master. I just like the look of the thing. These are designs pulled from the cloud, recommended just for you. As you use more designs, this list adapts to match your tastes. So the game appears to be pulling down some of these designs that people have come up with. Uh, they're interesting enough, some of those, but uh, that's a shiny one. But um, what I'll do is... Can I... Can I just hit back and make my own colour? No, I have to... I thought it may have let me just go back a screen, but it looks like I'm going to have to pick one. Oh, right, here we go. Let me pick. Oh, that looks quite nice. I guess you could spend a whole day in here <laughs> looking at these. I wouldn't pick any of those, I don't think. Let's stick with manufacturer colours. Which of these shall we have? Yeah, let's pick that one. I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's a nice looking car. It may not be the quickest, but they have a good reputation these, so... Yes, let's go. So I guess this will be my first race and my first car in this game. This is your 2013 Mazda MX-5. This is your career home space. Come back here to access Forza Vista and customize your cars. 
Your first career takes you on a journey to five of the world's great racing venues. All right, here we go. Today, we venture to the snow-capped mountains of the Bernese Alps in Switzerland. That's a beautiful looking place to be racing in. It looks quite festive as well, which is appropriate for the time of year. There are no AI drivers. Using Drivatar technology, you are always racing against real people with their real tendencies, delivered from the cloud. Free race. Um, right, so you're going to get some credits even if you finish 10th, which is promising for me. Drivatar difficulty. Bonus credits for taking on higher skilled drivatars. Turn up the difficulty to increase your earnings. Well, we'll go with average since it's my first race. Assists. This is a realistic simulation that features several assists to make driving approachable for everyone. In the assists menu, you can adjust these settings to experience the full depth of this simulation. All right, we'll put the game on medium. And I will attempt manual shifting and we'll leave, it, leave everything else as it is. Starting grid. So these are all the people I'm racing against, the drive at our names there. All right. And we don't want to do any of that. So, let's go. Start race. So this will be using manual gears. I wonder how I'll get on with that. I guess that will be... B is it to change it? Yeah it is. Right, straight away you can tell the difference in the car. It's slightly more forgiving than that uh, super car I was on just a minute ago. I'm going to try and play nice with the drive guitars, hopefully not uh, crash into any of them. I thought I was getting nudged there from behind, it almost made me spin out. Wonderful scenery, but hard to look at it when you're sort of trying desperately to stay in the road. Oh no, I'm being nudged again. I'm not going to rewind though. I've decided no rewinds. Wonderful sound as you go through the tunnel there. I think my car's maybe slightly locking in power compared to some of these, but never mind. I will make do. This is just my first race as well, so I'm obviously not... Whoa! My driving skills are not perfect yet. That is a bit of carnage, but never mind. Right, I've fell back to 12th because of that, which is not good. Oh, 
Oh no. This is not going out as intended. Car is surprisingly slippy. I thought it would have been a bit better grip than this being a master. Perhaps not. Right, second lap, can I do any better? Feels like it would be a good drifting car, this one. Quite nervous, uh, a nervous feeling you get playing this game. The car is so, so um, easy to like slip. I believe you just push too hard or find overtake someone and just clip them. It's so easy to slide. Car drifting away there, but I've managed to stay in control. might have been easier for me to stick to the automatic gears for a start but I wanted to play as I mean to continue. The car is so slidey. The tail end just wants to spin out if you just push it too hard in a corner. I sort of need to push to get up a few positions. Please for that pass there. Might see it past two cars. Starting to get the feel of the car a little bit better. You just know its limits. And that looks like fifth. Fifth spot. That's not too bad for a start. Considering how poor I did in the first lap. <laughs> oh dear, don't look at that. That's not my fault. It's just cosmetic. Every time you race, you win credits and XP. Credits help you buy new cars and upgrades. 3,410 credits and a bashed up master. Every time your driver level increases, you are rewarded with bonus credits. Hooray! Driver level 1. The rear end of my car looks not too bad. Slight bash, but it could be worse. Your Drivatar is collecting data on how you race, how you pass, and how oh you dear. get each apex. <laughs> After a few races, your Drivatar will be ready to go out into the community and race on your behalf. I hope he doesn't do damage to the front of cars like I've just done. Right, continue. So we're leaving Today the Alps. We travel to Dunsfold, England, home of the hit TV show Top Gear, Top Gear. And the famous Top Gear test track. Hmm. Well, this should be interesting. Hopefully I don't visit any of those tires off the track. But if I drive like I did in that race, there's a fair chance I may. Welcome to London. One of the greatest cities on earth, where millions of tourists flock every year. 
Using advanced modeling techniques and a large airfield in Surrey, we have constructed this perfectly accurate recreation of driving in England's historical capital. Construction signs, closed road lanes, rubbish bins, you'll have to avoid all these traditional London milestones in the Top Gear London Simulation Challenge. Right, someone's very kindly repaired my car for me, or given it a wash. Oh, there's a, a rather large amount of bins for some reason and various other things. Oh no, I saw his car get damaged there. It's uh, very realistic, the damage and uh, the, the visuals. Oh, sharp corner. I should be looking at my map here. felt some vibration through the um oh no I'm stuck in the tires through the brakes there as I was coming into that corner got to try and gain a few places here how many laps two laps I don't think it's that long a track either so let's try and get past a few people Oh no, he's going to pass me on the inside. And third. See the. Oh, that side of the um, truck there, if you go off it, really pulls your car off into the grass. Oh no, he's decided to take a bus. Right, this is quite a sharp corner. Feel the, uh, I really like the triggers, it's amazing the difference the, the sort of rumble feedback makes to those. It really tells you what you're doing. And second place, can I, can I possibly make it to first, I don't know about that, but we'll give it a try. Trying to master the uh, the gears and cornering here. I'm using manual. Oh no, I'm just not gonna. Second wasn't bad though. Improvement. New badge and title. And my car looks a bit better than it did last time, although it's still not perfect. manufacturer affinity level you increase that manufacturer's payout bonus each race you run in that brand of car earns you bonus credits based on its affinity level well that's the start of my journey into Forza Motorsport 5 Your avatar has collected some data but further races are required before it's ready to represent you on the track yeah I think that's a wise idea just gives my driver a bit more time yet 
So I really enjoyed that few races I've done. Um, it's an excellent game, it looks amazing, the feedback through the controller is fantastic and the handling considering you're a, using a joypad and you're playing a game is, is about as realistic as you'll get I think. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching, I'll have another part up soon hopefully and you can follow my journey in Forza Motorsport 5. See you in the next one.